In this video, we're going to look at traffic problems in Taiwan. Now, traffic is not the biggest problem, but it might be the most frequent problem. And traffic is also a great opportunity to educate and to teach people because this problem is so common. I mean, people drive and deal with things all the time. Having just and fair good traffic laws and enforcing the small details is a perfect way to educate the public and get people thinking about laws that are good and obeying those good laws rather than having laws that really shouldn't be obeyed and so therefore not obeying any law at all, which is what status quo is. So, this is an indication of what's going on. And it's also, uh, it's like a thumb screw. Uh, if, if we had one little small way we could make a big difference with everyone else, every, you know, the whole caboodle, this would be it. Traffic indicates uh, the bigger problem and traffic can solve the bigger problem of the law. But this is an example. What you're going to see here is an example of how third world Taiwan's legal system is. Now, it's better than others. It's better than it has been before, but it's, it's a snail's race watching things improve, quote unquote, improve. They're not really improving much. Now, the solution to these traffic problems in Taiwan is stop signs. Now, there's also a thing called a stop line that, that I call anyway, and also blinking red lights, but I'm calling all these stop signs. By enforcing stop signs, that's like an educational thumb screw. It's one little way to help fix the bigger problem. So, these videos show how disorganized and third world Taiwan's legal system is just by seeing how its traffic system is, but it's a problem everywhere. It indicates the problem, but Enforcing stop signs is the educational thumbscrew to get all Taiwanese thinking more correctly about what good laws are. So, this seems insignificant, but this is the little thing that makes all the big difference. Watch the rest of this video here as it explains and demonstrates what the problem is. Just remember that stop signs are the solution that come later on. Here, we've got this road coming through. Now that in Chinese on the road that says stop. Ting, it says stop. Boom. Boom. Uh, he kind of he kind of hesitated and slowed down there. Look at this little tiny small bridge here. Little tiny road, but that's the one that's supposed to stop. And that's and and that's that's the type of problem that we have here. See, he just rolled right through that. And it's very very normal. That that's not where the stop should be here, not there. This is where the normal traffic is. This is just a small local farming road. And, and it shouldn't be there. The stop is in the wrong place. It just, this is where the main fast traffic is flowing through along, along that river that goes up that way. There we go over there, same thing. So he just flew right through and he's got the same stop sign thing going on over there. It's not a stop sign, it's, it's, on, the, it's on the ground. They don't know stop signs. This is the problem that we've got. Don't see there, he just rolled through. Just th this is incredibly normal. You can come here, see it yourself. There's more. Let's see if we can get some more here. Oh, here we go. We got them coming. See this? Here's our stop sign. And, and here we go. Look at that. Blasting right through. Oh, is this a police officer? This could be a police officer. Uh, nope, not a police officer, but at a distance, looks like one. That, that's what police look like at a distance. And police would do the same thing. Because there isn't a need to stop here. That's the thing. This isn't about how bad the drivers are. There's been no, people have been running through that, that stop line and causing no accidents. They're teaching people that, that you can run through a stop line. Not stop sign, but a stop line, same thing. This is teaching people that you can run through a stop line and it's safe. And because it's in the wrong spot. There's our stop line. 
Here's the same type of road. Look at that. Boom. Flying right through. And, there, and there's our main road. And, and this is a little tiny side road with no traffic and they don't have to stop, but the main one does. Everybody just ignores it. It becomes a joke. Oh, here comes a taxi. Oh, these are fun. Here comes our taxi. I, I hope I don't scare him. He just ran right through that. Because it's so normal, incredibly normal. Oh, look over there, same thing going on. Look at that. It's just, it's normal, it's expected, it's normal. It's normal. Right up and over, that's where the normal traffic goes. That, that's how the normal traffic works. Now watch. See? Here we go. That was correct. And then there's just no stopping at all. And the vehicles just roll right through. Boom, 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 boom. And here we've got a blinking light up here. Watch these green arrows. There we go. All right, see, uh, he's stopped. Now it's turning yellow. And now it's red. They're going, and, and these cars have to stop because there's no green arrow. There's, there's no possible, that's a one-way street going that way. There's no possible cross traffic and they all have to sit here and wait. There's our green arrows. You, you can, they're worried about me. And he was going that way. Okay. But, you see, he's going that way. Where, where that arrow should be green pointing this way when it's red. What, why doesn't the green arrow point that way? Well, the green arrow should be pointing that way. There, there's no possible cross traffic. In America, it would. There he is, there we're, hi, ni hi, hi, ni hi. Uh, see, very, very friendly people, very friendly people. They want to know what the American's doing. Maybe they think I'm a YouTuber trying to be famous. Of course, everybody's a YouTuber trying to be famous, right? Oh, see, running red lights, illegal. See, but who cares? And see, he's, he's stopped, and now they go. Where's the green arrow? There should be a green arrow pointing that way. Where is it? I want to find out where he was going. I want to know the truth. He's still waiting, 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 waiting. Still waiting. There he goes. And see, he was turning right. See, he had to wait for that, and so did he. They all had to wait for that. They had to wait for that. There's our two stage left. That sign means there's a two stage left. That means that if you're going this way and you want to turn, if you're going this way, along this way, you want to turn left, you have to wait in that box there. Now, you see that traffic light? Behind it is another circle. That's a blue sign telling anyone who wants to turn left, they have to wait in that box over there. There's a box right there. This box, that, that traffic light has a blue circle, just like that one. And that's telling them if they want to turn left, they have to wait here in this box here. And so we've got these, there's another box over there actually. Now watch what, here, you see, she's going up there and she's turning left. There. The, the traffic that way waiting has a two stage left sign right there that's kind of bent, but you can sort of see it. So see there, they're coming up there, they're waiting, she's waiting to turn this way. And that's that's how a two-stage left works. So let's just let's just watch this and watch how this works. Yeah, see, he he gets the idea. See? And then now she goes. Now, now he's he's coming, we just waved at him. He's coming down here waiting in that box so he can go that way. 
There's our two stage left. We got traffic up this way. Okay, and see there, there are this uh, in in Tai in the, in Taiwan they, they wouldn't call her an an older woman. They'd call her a grandmother. So the grandmother is also turning left in their two stage left, and in just a moment they're going to go. Now, now they're supposed to wait behind the walkway. Nobody walks on it. But they probably got that from America, copying America without much reason. But if you're going to walk, that's the walkway. But the two-stage left box is on this side of the walkway. So now you see this. Here we had someone pull up ahead of it, which is also happens. It's technically not supposed to happen, but it happens. And I don't think it's a big deal. Um, it's, it's kind of like a, a rolling stop in America. In Michigan, we call it a Michigan stop. I'm sure in California, they call it a California stop. So there we go. Now their light, their light's turning green. So now they're going. Now, they're turning left here. They're not supposed to. They're not supposed to do that. They're supposed to go down to that box and wait. But they didn't. Uh, probably, though, it's not a big deal. So maybe that two-stage left isn't necessary. Maybe it's being used too much. They don't have to have them. And one of the thing about the two stage left, again, there's, you've got to have that sign. It's a requirement. That sign has to warn drivers. And then this is, this is the normal scooter box. Sometimes it's smaller or bigger, but that's the normal scooter box. The car has to stop there. Well, he had a green light, but cars stop behind it. Scooters can come up in here and wait. But then we've got the walkway. Oh, bicycle trail. And then up here is the two stage left waiting box for those guys coming this way. So we've got two scooter boxes. This one is a two stage left waiting area. Oh, we got a two stage taker. Here we go. She's coming right around there, that way there. And she's gonna wait for her two stage left. She's supposed to be in the box, but that's not the important part. And then she, we're gonna wait there. Hello. And she, we're gonna wait there. Oh, we got another two-stage taker. So bo both of these drivers, you know, she's in the box like she's supposed to be. Well, half inside. It's good enough, right? Oh, we got another one. Look at that. Everyone's got shades of pink in the two-stage turns. So here we go. And now they got a green light, and now they're going to go right on down. There we go. And they go through the intersection. That's how they're supposed to do it. So that's how the two-stage left works, and it only applies to scooters. Oh, see, he's not supposed to be in that box. But that's normal. You know, you get the idea, though. I'll explain what we got going on here. There's a lot of problems with this intersection. There are two main problems. See this blue circle out here that, that the, uh, the motorcycle, the arrow, that's a two stage left. That's what that means. So when they, when they turn left, they're supposed to come over here and turn. And that makes sense. But here's the problem with this intersection. There's no cross traffic. It's a river over there. It's a river. It's a river over there. Now, oh, th now that's a waiting area, but this is a left turn waiting area. So see, that blue box says that scooters, motorcycles have to wait there if they're turning left. That's how that works. But, but there's no reason for that.